Hey everyone, in this video will be about restoring of this engine. I hope that it will still work. So I'm starting with uh, this assembly and then we will see what's inside. This engine is pretty simple, it's uh, just a two-stroke engine that works on the nitromethanol. Top of engine looks not bad. So washers that are used for compressing the to um, change the compression level of the engine. Next step, I will remove a um, back plate and we will see crankshaft with the cone rod and this piston from the other side. So as I will clean all the engine completely, I'm not care at the moment about door that could come inside. Also looks not very bad. So now is removing of the sleeve. It's quite interesting part of uh, engine disassembly. Uh, and at the same moment, a bit complex. Carb. So how I'm doing it? Uh, I need a piece of zip tie and I'm just setting it into the engine and rotating the crankshaft. Usually when uh, you have a, a clutch on the engine then it's very easy to rotate and remove the um, sleeve. Also, there is another way. I will just use the nut to rotate the crankshaft. Okay, sleeve is already moving up a bit. And at this point, when sleeve is already goes out of the engine, it's already possible to use a screwdriver to just pull, pull it out. There is nothing dangerous for engine or for the sleeve at that moment anymore. Now when sleeve is removed, I could already remove uh, cone rod and piston from the engine. It's much more easy than to remove the sleeve. There's the piston and now the crankshaft and bearings. For that I need to unscrew my nut. So crankshaft looks pretty fine in this engine. The back plate is also. Of course it was dirt inside because we have scratches on the crankshaft here. Uh, on the cone rod, sorry. Uh, there is almost no scratches on the piston 
and no scratches as well on the sleeve. So for now, I want to check how far piston could go into the sleeve. That I'm removing uh, dust that could come into the engine. And as we can see, in the sleeve, uh, the piston could go uh, almost to the up of the sleeve. But the working point of the engine is when the sleeve is goes up to here. So there is already will be no so much compression and uh, engine will not work good. What I could do with this, I know that this engine was uh, never repaired. I could compress the sleeve just a little bit. Uh, for that, uh, I will need to make a ring out of steel. Put a piston inside in the top dead center of the engine. It's like here. And then compress the uh, upper part of the sleeve. To the point that piston is not playing and not going too far up. It's what I want to try to do. Of course, I will clean everything. I will remove uh, black dust from the piston. I will remove bearings now uh, to clean them. They are. Not very bad, but need to be cleaned. <clears throat> to remove bearings, I have just another one tool, a special tool for bearings. So, how, how I'm using it. At first, I'm removing the inner bearing. and front bearing. Now it's time to clean all this stuff together. I will probably not disassemble carp. No, I will. And I will need to clean it as well. Uh, so, cleaning. Uh, cleaning process is pretty the same as I was showing with the car. So I'm using soap and water, hot water and soap with the uh, ultrasonic cleaner. And I'm just placing everything there. I will not clean the head of the engine, it's not necessary. Uh, from the carb I will remove this um, uh, rubber protection. I don't want to clean it, and also I don't want to uh, disassemble the full carburetor. So rubber separately from the carburetor. And all other parts of the engine. And also bearings. The inner bearing. Shims. Back plate. Sleeve piston with scan rod. Uh, it's a fixation of the carburetor. I will also not clean it. I will just use the air to remove water out of it. Uh, also, I was uh, made a pre cleaning of the engine, so I will just wash it with water. <coughs> uh, on the front bearing, I have two rubber seals. I need to remove one of them before cleaning. Uh, actually, it's uh, enough if uh, uh, there is only one uh, seal on the front bearing. Usually, there is only one. It's some aftermarket bearing with, that was not made initially for the engines. I'll just take a look which one is better.
usually in these engines in the front bearing there is uh, only one seal and uh, second one is removed to have oil inside the bearing so that oil from the engine comes to the bearing and starting with the cleaner Now I have all the parts of the engine cleaned. So the bearings uh, works fine, everything clean. And it's the time to continue with the engine compression. As I mentioned before, uh, this piston is goes to almost to the top of the uh, sleeve. It shouldn't be. The maximum where piston could go is something like that point. Uh, it stopped that center, top up that center. Um, how to renew the compression? This distance doesn't have uh, uh, rings, compression rings. It's impossible in so small engines. What I will do, I will uh, put piston inside and compress the sleeve to make if possible, I need some metal ring, which I will compress, and in the same moment, slip will be compressed a bit. Uh, just a little bit, and it will be completely enough for this uh, engine to work again. And here's the tool. How to use this? Replacing the sleeve inside and compressing this ring. I made it uh, a bit bigger. Because this sleeve uh, is quite small, uh, on all other engines I have a bit bigger to fit this tool to them. Uh, that's why I will use a bit of aluminum foil. I'll just turn it around the uh, sleeve in the place where we should compress it. I hope it will work. I don't know, of course. But what I want to mention, don't try to do that with your working engine. Uh, it really could destroy it. Now the sleeve is inside the tool. I am used a bit of foil. I don't know yet, will it work? Um, what I'm doing next, I'm moving the piston inside to the top dead center that are near here. And now I will need to compress this ring. Now compression of the sleeve. So what I'm doing, I have the piston in top dead center. The sleeve is mounted into the ring and I'm using vices. And very carefully compressing the ring and moving the piston inside. And just in the moment when I will feel that piston is already some kind of touching the sleeve and not moving down inside, I will stop. Now I get what I want. And here is top that center. So I'm already feel that uh, piston touched the sleeve. And I think for this engine, it will be quite good. Let's assemble everything together and we will see, will it work or not? Assembling, I'm starting from the bearings. Again, my tool. It's very likely that later I will just replace the bearings in this engine. That's why I'm using the same. Now it will be kind of a test of the engine. Is it works fine? Is everything okay after uh, changing the compression? 
or after renewal of the piston sleeve pair. And then it will be understandable should I change the bearings, should I make some future maintenance of the engine. Okay. Now when I have all the bearings inside, I'm putting some oil into the bearings to have them a little bit reoiled. The shaft. Now the piston. Also the oil inside and here. And the sleeve. A bit of oil inside and a bit of outside. to put it more easy into the engine. Now the engine head, still the same, without any modifications. And finally, glow plug. Now it's already possible to check the engine compression. Not beautiful, but definitely higher than was before. So, will this engine work? We will see in this video. Now I have car, engine, works well, and the pipe. But I need to make this pipe beautiful also. So I will clean up all the dust, replace this rubber, and assemble everything together. Now assembly of the car. I have air filter, I have engine, clutch, pipe and the car. Uh, starting from the air filter. Uh, I have it already oiled inside and outside part is not oiled. I'm applying some oil on the sides of the filter uh, because there will be contact with the filter folder with the plastic and I want to not to have any air leak there. Now the air filter ready to go. Uh, I will finish with the engine, I will finish with the clutch. Now, as you can see, here the bell is located too far, so it's assembled correctly. So the play is correct, but it's too far. What I need to do in this case, I need to have some washers uh, under the uh, clutch itself. So I will remove the bell, remove the clutch and put some washers there. Now the setup is a little bit more correct, as you can see there is less, so the play is the same, but uh, less space between the clutch and belt. So now the pipe.
now only the tires and it's possible to check how this car works and now you will see it now it's time to start the engine Now let's make a few small laps. That's it for this video, car is assembled, everything working fine, engine working fine, I will test it a little bit more. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.